a bit so that they scream. It's better when they scream. Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Axel, and this here. <laughs> and the reason why I'm speaking like this, we are at our first Halloween scare event of the season. Based in the crumbling walls of the old Camelot theme park, amongst the ruins of a fairground from the past and complete with live actors to scare you witless. This two hour immersive experience is advertised as a living nightmare as you pass through such depraved horrors as Nightmare Alley, The Forest of Fears and The Medieval Murder Zone. There are 13 scare zones, including a maze within the old, blood-curdling, dilapidated Camelot Castle. Joined by Aaron, we are about to confront the fear of the unknown as we enter the world's longest outdoor horror attraction. We did have to sign a waiver before entering the event. What deadly scenes await us in this two kilometer walk through the now abandoned Camelot theme park in Chorley, England. This is our oh, Scare God. City experience. I want to go in as well. Nice. <laughs> Here's the first one. Okay. Don't be scared, Aaron. Who's checking that? Here we are. We're inside the event. Apparently, it doesn't say anywhere that you can't film, and everyone else is. So we're gonna film. It's a two hour long outdoor horror experience. It's the longest horror experience in the world, apparently. Apparently so. It looks good so far. It's very atmospheric. Yes, it is, isn't it? It's very yeah. atmospheric. There's strobes in the trees. There's a lot of smoke. Check this out. That phone keeps in the Out the wits. <laughs> Which way do we go? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that's the first zone done, guys. What do you think about that? Good opening. Uh, we need to start on that pole now. Why? So you keep drinking, no one does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a very good opening. There's only two actors in that bit. But, well, yeah. Look, you're chasing them again. Not bad, oh. still chasing that, that second one's quite... Uh, <laughs> is, is, I don't know whether it was in here or a sheep. Uh, yeah, that was intense, that was good. It was good. Good, good start. Promising start. I don't know what the hold up is now, but... I, I don't know whether we're meant to be waiting here or... No few jumpers here! Your name? What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah's from Australia. Are you Sarah or New Zealand? Neither. Neither? She's from Ireland, are you? <laughs> no, you're from Wigan! <laughs> Wigan! <laughs> Sarah! Go through! We haven't got all day! Go! 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 Let's go, all of us. No, no! Stay! <laughs> go, quick! I keep you waiting a bit so that they scream. It's better when they scream. You free the boy band, go. <laughs> you too. 
And now we enter Carney Valley. Carney Valley. Okay. <laughs> Why did you pull back, man? One again. <laughs> and next up is the Whirlwind Woods. Look at this. I know. The lighting in here looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. I love the look of this. The purple and the blue lights make it very era, but also Ooh, very beautiful at the same time. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> She's scared, Sean, are you scared? I'm scared. Oh my, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's scared, she's scared. I'm scared. Thanks, Carry on with She got in your face. <laughs> Well, not as a... I can't see where people are coming from. Oh, here we go. Ah! <laughs> My God! <laughs> Oh, that one gave me a good fright then actually. <laughs> Woo, it's dark in there. The Whirlwind Woods is my favourite section to be honest up to Not now. Not to know it is, yeah. That was very good. The lighting in there, the sounds, the darkness. Couldn't see where anyone was coming from. <laughs> and they was getting me. They said that when we come to the bar, well, we're about halfway through. So I'm expecting to arrive there after around an hour, but I feel like we're getting through it a lot quicker. Than we should be, yeah. Than we should be. There's, oh, it's not, the much, there's not much per section. Yeah, it's just like three scale. Just three actors, but... So we thought we were coming up to halfway, but there is the bar. There is the castle. We still got to go through the Forest of Fears, yeah. Favourite pass up to now, Aaron? Uh, the, that last one that we've just been to. What about oh, you, Sean? All the actors on the uh, the carnival were quite good. Well, the actor. What about you, Sean? What's your favourite build to now? Um, it's all felt like the same bit, to be honest. Do you yeah. not think? It's strange that you do get to film all the way throughout it. Yeah. Because there has been other scare mazes that I've been through that are a lot better themed and yeah. there's a lot more going on. But, and you can't film in them. So you'd think that they'd want to promote it and let you film in it. But I guess filming does take you out of the immersion a yeah. little bit. I do think it's amazing how it is within an old theme park. No pun intended. That, that adds to the vibe, doesn't it? It, it really does. does
Whoa, man. Is he all right? Aaron's scared, as per. <laughs> Whoa, that's a creepy one. It, it is good, isn't it? Like it. <laughs> she went, Whoa. Can we go in there? No. Uh, that's his house. house. Don't want to go in his house. Why? <laughs> Not allowed to speak. <laughs> See, it's his house, sure. It's not the best I've ever been in, but it's good for what it is. 20 quid. Decent price so far. And it's, uh, I just think there could be a bit more. About like, you know, there's not three or four actors yeah, in each part. At the moment, I'm not really understanding why we're doing the waiver. Not the well, art here as well, it's like, uh, I mean, I do I do like the ominous vibe, but mm -hmm. there's nobody around, and like, it's supposed to be abandoned and stuff like that. But, like, if we were allowed to touch people and they were allowed to touch us, wouldn't that be a lot better? Yes. Yes. Nine hundred percent. After signing a waiver, I do expect to be pushed, pulled. Exactly. Something exactly. along those lines. I do wish it was a little bit darker, that's probably our fault for booking out at 7 o'clock. Yeah. When we do get to the bar, I do suggest we all have a drink, let it get dark, yeah. and carry on at our own pace. When that's it is dark... That's another good thing as well, Axel, just stick the nail on the coffin there, mate. Yeah, stick the nail on the coffin! <laughs> <laughs> that's the good thing about it, you can go at your own pace, you can let people pass you. Wow! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Scarecrow! <laughs> I like the movement. Whoa. That was good. And I do feel like we should more be, yeah, we need to tell and I do feel like we should be a bit more spaced out. Saying that, we're coming up to a blood curdling Camelot castle right now. So let's go inside the old castle of Camelot. Like these empty bits here, they should be filled. Eh? You know, like all the empty bits and stuff, they yeah. should be filled. Yeah, there should be a lot more in areas. Yes, yes. But again, 20 pounds, still worth it. Now, when dark, you said you there's know. a castle, uh, I imagine something a bit more grand. Well, it's abandoned. It's all. Yeah, but it's not really a grand. It's not like, it's more like a fort. Me, it? <laughs> it's a fort. <laughs> <laughs> it does look a, a bit, bit cardboard. Yeah. So, right. to be honest, it has been about a half an hour at the moment. Um, if there was more going on in between, we'd be taking it a bit slower. But because there's nothing going on in large sections, you're just hurrying up to the next bit because you want the scares. That's, yeah. And again, I do feel like everybody should be more spaced out. And there isn't enough time for it because there's been sections where there's been no one. And there's been sections where we're all grouped together. So we could be a lot more spaced out and feel like you're on your own. Then like, it would like, amp up the fear. I like it for, for what it is. It's good. I'm enjoying it. It's good. I, I you know. I'm having a pleasant time. I want to be more scared. And we actually go into the castle. So 
<laughs> Very nice. Very scary. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I go this way? King of the castle, King of the castle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Was that, to be honest, halfway through, I was doubting that, but that got very intense. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, halfway through, I thought I was a bit tame, but it definitely got intense towards the end. People coming in my face, of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> Shouting at me, throwing arms at me, yeah. and then there's people that don't react, you know. One of the plans have come out. And here we are, we've come to the resurrection zone. This is officially the halfway stop and I do need a drink, especially after that castle bit. That was really has redeemed it. And so we enter into the second part of the maze, as you can tell, it's a lot darker <laughs> than it was in the first half. Didn't work. But the group in front of us just all looked around when Sean did that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go into the medieval murder zone. Level three. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? The forbidden forest experience. I was about to say that, the Harry Potter thing. The Forest experience isn't too dissimilar to this, minus the scare actors. It's just not scary, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. The stairs, this is not disabled friendly. <laughs> and, it, and it's metal, hold on to the rails. Aaron can hear his fear in the distance, also known as chainsaws. Chainsaws. As I was saying, these trails are visually so impressive. Oh and now we're on a rock, a, tra a rock path. Oh. 
that side. If we're gonna show up coming down and the things I have to do, we got to take me out of here because you can too. Stay! Did I say you could go? No. I keep you waiting so you scream. Whoa! You want your shoes? You want your shoes? No shoe from me. Aaron, give him your shoe. Yeah, I know, man. No shoes for you. Nightmare Alley. The last, funny. the last one wasn't very uh, good to be honest. The last section. Yeah, this is the last. No, the last section wasn't very good. Whoa. I can make it clear if you're meant to stop and watch something. Well, we're going to play mini golf. All right, mini golf this, this way. Oh. Mini mini golf golf mini golf. Ah. That's why I wanted you to take shoes off. Because it's wet. What the fucking actual fuck? What? Look at that! What? Oh, we got a walk down. There's a puddle. On the edge, guys, if you don't want your shoes ruined. This is stripping me the fuck out. <laughs> oh my lord! This this line. Ah! No, 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 no! It's too wet. My feet are soaking. No, thank you. Please. Oh my lord! It's a fucking Oh! Oh! She's behind us. Whoa! Now that's an image. Look at that. The crypt of Camelot. I don't think it's real. Oh, it's definitely real. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Sean, you're coming. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, no, I can't. Wait, wait. Sean, come. Whoa, that one's coming, man. That one's coming, man. Sean. They're coming. They're being searched. Circles. Right, there's a lot of them here now. They left you behind. I'm I'm just filming, I'm just filming. You're supposed to be the protector. Yeah, whoa, whoa, I told you. Hide behind your camera and it'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, he's got your hand now. Oh! Run! Run! I'm running! Into satanic panic! Oh! He's gone. He's Run! dead. Aaron's dead. Forget Run about him. Run now! Run! Run! Whoa, is the devil? Here he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I can't. Whoa, Sean, don't look. Oh! What is going on? This bit's intense, this is good. The devil's got me again. 
please, please, please. No, no, no. I can't move, can I? Oh. Uh, I can't scream anymore. Oh man, oh man. Oh, oh. That bit was good and intense and extended. It's a seven. Oh. The last bit even cut off. So I had no control over the camera. That was intense and the scares did not stop coming. They surrounded us, split us up, they caught Aaron off, they threw him to the ground. He did throw me to the ground, he fell over. He fell over. Sean was crying. I was laughing me at all. I was screaming. Oh, that was something else that. The ending was very good. Very, very good. That wow. Good, it? Especially inside the end. Wow. Anyway. So we've just been through, what's the name of it again? Scare City. Scare City of Camelot. I could keep remembering it. It's Camelot, but it's actually called Scare City. Um, it's built as the longest ever scare maze, isn't it? That's right. Definitely a walking distance. <laughs> the amount you walk, but you definitely We just both have a breath. that last section. Was something else, it really did build and build and build, and that last section gets you. Yeah, that's scary. They surround you, they separate you, they don't let you go, they run after you. A lot of strobe lights, yeah, that's a lot of darkness. Else. I'll tell you one thing about this, mate come through it at night, do not go through it in twilight. You've got to get here for at least eight o'clock. Ideally, I'd be getting here now. Nah, I'd be eight getting now at right. this level of darkness, ideally for me anyway. What time is it? Past 20 past eight. Yeah. I'd be getting in now if I was you, because yeah. this creates the perfect atmosphere for this dark, especially with it being outdoors. Yeah, the last section was definitely the best section. Which you'd expect. The actors in this were very committed. Excellent. Yep. Could have done with a few more props. The to actors help did them. a lot. They did very good considering what they had to work with. Yeah. Could have done with a few more props, but that being said, they didn't need them really. It would have been nice to see some chainsaws or something. Yeah, I already had the chainsaw, I couldn't find uh, it though. I don't think there was any, I think maybe that was earlier and we missed it because they haven't started that yet. If you're a first time coming to a scare maze, definitely this is a good one to start to because it's not too claustrophobic. Definitely not claustrophobic, as some mazes are. So it's not too over the top in your senses, sort of thing. But at the same time, it is scary. It's like a good little journey. It's a good little thing to walk about. If you've never been to Camelot either, like I have, it's good to see like what was a theme park, what they've done with it. The whole layout feels a bit spooky. Um, the layout's a little bit like the Forbidden Forest experience as well. So you know, it's it's really good. I really enjoyed it. To me, it feels like you're walking through this uh, forest, and it's like a horror film in the sense that it builds, it builds builds you don't come here expecting to get intense scares from the get-go because that's not going to happen it's going to build to that yeah you've got different sections of different scenes yeah. and, it, and the atmosphere builds the tension builds until you get to that final bit and it's very intense and at the end you don't even realize what's going on we do hand you a free bag of sweets. It is sponsored by Swizzles, this whole event. And uh, I didn't even know what was going on. I was running for my life at that point. This guy was like, here, a free bag of sweets. <laughs> Just grabbed it and ran. Yeah. Can I find out as well that I was so far behind you two who had run off screaming and was laughing so much that the scare actors almost broke character and were like, look at the end. I was like, I know, fucking useless, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so throughout the first half, I was going to mark this about two and a half out of five. But taking it all into consideration, I'd definitely give this whole event, for me, four out of five, just for the pure build. Uh, the actors were great, the atmosphere is good, and you can go along it at your own pace. And that's what I like about this. We had our, sometimes we've been a group and sometimes it was on our own. So for me, it gets a strong four out of five, especially for a first year 
you've had. I think, I think I'm going to be a little bit less generous just because, do you know what, actually, I'm going to give it two separate ratings. For its first year and our first horror scare maze of, uh, of the holiday, yep. it's, a, it's a four. But if it was like the last one we went to, this was it, it would be getting a three. Yeah. So depends on like if you go to these a lot, if not, what you're expecting when you come in. But for the for today, the way I feel coming out of it is a four. But looking at it objectively, it's probably closer to a three. You know what I mean? Because it's it's just not there's not as many scare actors. As there That's are still pretty good out of five though, isn't it? Let's be yeah, fair. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, there, there is things to work on. It's a great platform. It's a great foundation. I'm working a bit more claustrophobia as well. Yeah. Maybe, I think maybe. maybe. Like another place like the castle, we could have done some tents. We could have done some like gazebo sort of thing where they have like blow up walls and play walls. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, there's yeah. ways around yeah. but Play like, on more fears, more sensory yeah. experiences, all things. Yeah, and more smoke. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, out of for today, for this experience, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. But out overall, compared to other mazes, it probably had a for it. If you've liked what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. You can always comment in the section down below and let us know if you've been to this event, what you think about what you've seen, or if you plan coming to this event. We do plan on putting up a lot more Halloween content throughout the rest of this month and next month because we just love going to scare events and Halloween events in general. Please do give us a subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see some more. With that being said, from me, Axel, me, Sean, we'll see you in another video. Let's get on.